So I'm going to show you guys how to take off rust and make it look brand new. So we and Yuan have sanded off the rust. And now, before this, there's a hole inside there, and I sprayed it with reformer and undercoat. And now I'm gonna spray it again with reformer and undercoat. So now we're putting on the rust reformer. Make sure you take your time on this, and you only get it onto the metal, onto the uh, body fill, uh, self-adhesive body patch. Here we go. Just like that to protect the metal, right? That should be good. Stop video taping now. All right, so now it's dried. We've shaken this up for a minute. This is the uh, corrosion resistant rubberized undercoat. So you want to focus on the on the repair we're doing. Right here, this is undercoat. Perfect. Now we're gonna let that dry, and you can stop it. So now we are making the uh, short strand reinforced fiberglass filler while we're letting the undercoat dry and that's what it looks like so we're gonna have to open that first now that it is opened we need to pour a bowl okay Maybe it doesn't smell like that. This is bad. Because it's chemicals. Oh my god. Why does it look like slime? Oof. Okay, that should be. Okay, That's... pass me the spatula you want. It's the spatula. The orange one? The right there? Yeah. Oof. She loves like flying. Sure not to make a mess of this stuff. Because it's so dangerous. It's life threatening and it may cause death. Clean it up with your thing. It, you can't get this perfect because this thing's like a hug. Yeah, it smells like putty. Even so looks after like you're done, you put it back on. Make sure it's tight. And then you need this out, which is the cream hardener. Make sure it's well mixed. And for this, I don't need that much because I'm just filling it out and then letting it dry and then I'm putting more body filler on so I, I'm not putting that much on right now so get your pile of body filler about a half inch up and then start kneading this and the way you want to do the ratio for this is you open it up once you're done kneading and you put a line across it so I'm going to put a line across It looks like sonic blood. <laughs> and then, get that out of the way. Are you gonna mix it? And Yeah, and then we start mixing it. Mixy, mixy, mixy. Mixy, mixy, mixy. Mixy, 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 Mix, 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 mix. It just looks like dirt. Like clay. It looks like clay a little bit. When it's wet. And it smells like putty or something. You wanna grab it? Flip <laughs> it. Like that. Grab it. Flip it. You just keep kneading until it's all one uniform color. Oh man, it looks good.
make sure you mix it really well. Guys, look at it. Mm. You smell that, Uncle Sherman? Yeah. Yes, ugly. Okay, now that it's one uniform color, you want to spread it out thin. Like really thin. Thin like that. And then we can start applying it to our body. Body? Yeah. Body of what? Like slime, looks like cheese slime. This is really hard to work with. Can you please move back with you? I'm, I'm trying to see the fence. Right I'm applying now. Okay, so this is the gold professional filler. And I've shaved this down. Where's the another filler? Yeah. Wanna push it in? There. Move your hair, Uncle Sean. Now the camera's seeing a, a hair. And then down here. Put a first layer on, then build it up in layers. Up. Now guys, we're doing the... What's that called again, Uncle Sherwin? Fixing the rust. And guys, I keep on shaking because it's a windy day today. Uh, 
And then for the rest, you do this. Oh. So Get underneath and see what I did underneath. Yeah, and then focus it. Yeah. You want like this? See? You you gotta see what you're doing with the camera. Oh. So that's what it looks like now. Now I'll show you guys after I sand it down to make it look factory. So now we're putting glazing spot putty to fill in like the tiny little holes so that it doesn't show when uh, when you put the paint on. So you also want to blow this out so that there's no dust inside any of the holes like that. So just take a good amount. These mosquitoes are annoying for sure. Goodness. Just put it on onto the body for me. Push, push into it. Make sure it goes in so that it fills the tiny little holes. I'm gonna need more. Uncle Shin, sometimes your head keeps on getting in the video. Well, just make sure you focus it. It smells pretty good a little bit. It smells like ink. It smells chemically. It smells like paint, kind of. It smells like ink. It smells like ink. So I'm pushing it into the gold professional body filler. Guys, it smells kind of like paint. So put more if you do make sure you videotape what I'm doing. Yeah. They know how to. There's it guys. So just keep pushing it in. I like to wait work my way from the bottom to top. Because I think the bottom's the hardest, so I like to get out of it to get it out of the way quicker. Needs more. Guys, we didn't even post enough videos because. Oh, I've been posting. Yeah, just a little bit with this one. We were getting uh, the supplies for this. Yeah. Mostly sandpaper, right, you know? Yeah. Guys, I'm the one who's videotaping this. This is the bottom. more yep. so you can fill up all the what's it called again Uncle Sharon job I think this is gonna be the last last yeah. squeeze put the cap back on Bought this from Canadian Tire. Guys, if you need to buy this, you could buy it at Canadian Tire. Yeah. Guys, I keep on videotaping that because the mosquitoes keep on biting me. Cheers.
stop doing the button. Way too much. I'm gonna have to suck this back into here. And if you put too much, you could always suck it back in, right? Yeah. He's twisting. How am I gonna put this back into here? Here, wait. I know there's a way. I don't think I can put this back into here. Can I, you are? Yeah. I can't. Wait. Yeah, if I squeeze this, it's not like a tub of toothpaste. Yeah, I can't. I just use too much. If you do, I'll, I'm just going to keep smearing it in. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Well, guys, after after this dries, we need to sand this. Yeah. Are you seeing what I'm doing? See. So with the access, I just smeared it in. And see, I used, I did use all of it. Yep, good job. After you let the spot booty dry, you sand it with 320 grit sandpaper till it looks like this. And then now I'm going to use this um, end zone air duster to blast away all the dust that I created from sanding. So let's blast, let's blast this dust away. All the dust is off. Next step is to clean it with this adhesive remover. So now we're gonna spray this liberally onto it to clean it down at the bottom too here allow for a couple seconds for it to soak in and then you take your cloth and you clean it get it ready for paint and I'll show you when I clean it some more. Okay. Yeah. So now we're applying three coats of self etching primer. Make sure you shake your can for one minute. And starting from the bottom up. Oh, we gotta go all the way over here, you want? Watch out. Oh my 
and I can see. Focus on here. Watch out. Gotta go that way. I can't even see what they're doing right now. Back over here, you are. See that? Get, get rid of that. See? Make sure it's blown out like that. Make sure your coats are even. Get all angles a bit. Now we are doing the second coat. Good for second coat. That's good for second coat. So now we're applying the third and final coat. Make sure your finger's not in the way because the camera's over here at the so we're here. Make sure your fingers are not in the way. Okay, we sanded it down with 600 grit sandpaper and now I'm putting on the paint three coats of this so let's do it yeah it's looking perfect Here, first coat's almost done. First coat's done. Get up taping. Second last coat of paint. Here.
First coat of clear coat has been applied. This is after the second coat of clear coat. This is what it's looking like. Down the bottom there. So this is how it turned out. With the papers off. So it turned out with the papers off. Get some of the underneath too. I'm going to take off the tape when it's dry and here it is without the tape patched that hole up pretty well